It's me again, Uncle Jaja, and I'm here to tell you a brand new story from pictures I found from an old, old, old box in my garage. Now, I didn't look inside the box yet. I don't know, I don't know what the pictures are. But I'm sure they'll tell you a story. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you a story using the pictures from, from the box that I found in the garage. Yeah. Mm. And tonight's story begins with... Uh, a, with toys, with toys and art supplies on a shelf. We have a, a drawing, we have a pencil sharpener, and we have a pencil, but you know the pencil is kind of special. Because there is a, an old-timey doll holding and cradling and protecting that pencil for, for the doll's owner, who also uh, likes to draw good. And this doll, I know it's an old-timey doll because... The, the dress, because it's got a, a girl dress on it. The dress is from old timey days. And the doll is very soft, so it's a soft doll. It's not an action figure. It doesn't fold into a, a vehicle, like a truck, or a bicycle, or a skateboard. It doesn't do that. It's just a doll. And the face is not painted on. The face is sewn on. So the smile is sewn on. And the nose is, is, is just a picture of a nose that's sewn on. And it's got, uh, it's got uh, uh, googly eyes that are sewn onto it. And the hair, the hair is brown. And it's made out of yarn. It's brown yarn hair. So it's a soft doll from a long, long, long time ago, but it looks clean, and the doll looks happy. And so, our story begins with this doll, and the doll's owner has several dolls. So the, so the little girl who lives in this house has a collection of dolls. She has this doll that's a soft, floppy doll with yarn for hair. She also has one of those really expensive dolls where the head is made out of a sculpture of a very, very, very fragile, fragile uh, 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 material. And so you have, you have to be a real, you can't play with those kinds of dolls. They're very beautiful, but you can't play with them. But you know what? This little girl, she has a favorite doll, and it's the soft and floppy doll with the brown yarn for hair. And I think it's because because she can't play with it. She can't play with the other dolls because they're too fragile and the dresses are too expensive and pretty. So so what does she do? So how does she play with this doll? What are, what kinds of things does she do? Oh, what she does. She is just like Uncle Jaja because she likes to tell stories. So in her room, she'll pull up a chair and she'll pull up all her dolls and, and put them in a, in, in a circle in front of her. And then she'll sit down in the chair and she'll just tell the dolls about her day, about school, Maybe about her favorite teacher who gave a good lesson. Maybe it was a math lesson. 
maybe it was a STEM teacher teaching her lots of lots of cool things about about math and science and all of those cool things. Maybe it was a history teacher who would tell who would tell stories about a faraway lands in a long ago time. Maybe about knights and you know? all. Knights in England and, and what like King Arthur's round table and, and, and like what kinds of food did they eat and were there really dragons? I don't know, maybe the maybe the history teacher says so. Mm. And so and, and and so maybe this little girl she she will have, you know, some adventures with her friends at school and so when she comes home and she gets all her little dolls in front of her, she'll sit down and she'll tell them about uh, her adventures and what she learned in school and the things her friends told her. And during this time, she will have this soft, uh, old timey doll. She will hold it, you know, hold it in her lap and tell this story. And you know what? And you know what happens? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, the little girl decides, oh, this doll, we'll call this doll Georgiana. Georgiana, the doll with, with brown yarn for hair, who's always smiling because a smile is sewn onto her face forever. She can never be sad. She can only be happy. So, the little girl says, oh, my little dolly wants to be on an adventure. Well, why don't we put her, put her in an, an, an adventure and she can tell her own stories. So they went outside and, and the little girl flew a kite in her yard. And she was like, yeah, but my little dolly, she can't, she can't fly the kite, but you know what she can do? she can actually do something I can't do she can fly if I put her on the kite so the little girl put the doll Georgiana on the kite and flew real high flew real high and the doll was like why why this is bonkers I can see the, her house from here she says the doll says to herself I can see the, I can see the top of the house. I can see the roof and the chimney, and I can see the yard. And oh 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 no! I can see above the the neighborhood. I can see the neighbor's house, and I can see the dog barking in the yard, and I can see a cat is stuck in a tree, and I can see those birds flying around me. I must be as high as the birds, and she got real higher and higher, and soon she could see the whole town. Yeah. Georgiana flying on a kite it was so high she could see the whole town and the, and she was above the birds and soon she was in the clouds and then she couldn't see the town anymore because she was uh, uh, above the town above the clouds and the clouds hid the town but she saw the whole sky and she went so hard so high she went to um space. Okay. Well Georgiana became the first doll astronaut. Do you know what an astronaut is? An astronaut is a space person. It's, it's a job. You have to work real hard at it. You need to be real clever. And, and that's in Georgiana. Well, uh, okay, technically it wasn't Georgiana. It was the little girl had the bright idea to put Georgiana, the, the floppy doll, uh, on the kite and fly the kite as high as she could. And she went up into space where there is no oxygen and it is uh, freezing cold. And that's okay if you're a doll. That's okay. 
you are you are technically an inanimate object, and inanimate objects like dolls cannot breathe, and they do not、uh, worry about the temperature, which makes them which makes them. Perfect astronauts. They can they can be space dolls. You can float up into space and do space jobs. And so we can see in this picture, Georgiana、uh, is sitting up there floating with the kite, and then sees the moon through the kite. The moon is smiling because the moon is a moon face smiling through the kite. And there's the stars. And the, and the doll is super happy. Like, look at these, just chilling, with the like, literally chilling, literally chilling, but also just straight chilling, with the stars, and the moon, just sitting up there floating on the kite. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Ah,、uh, now, ah,、uh, when you go up. You must calm down, and that is what happened to Georgiana. She、uh, was flying in the kite, and maybe something happened to the kite. Where the little girl kept pulling the kite back. You're too far up, too far up. You're too high. And pulled it back, pulled it back, pulled it back, and the doll fell out. It fell down, fell down, fell down, and fell down. But luckily, fell into the treetops. And that is where we will end tonight's story. Georgiana is stuck in the treetops, and she made some friends with the birds. The birds that were flying around saw her go up, and were so impressed. They're like, "Wow!" And Georgiana fell into the trees, and the, and the birds came down to、uh, to help her. So they start pulling on her and trying to grab her. So they're gonna fly her down to the ground so she can be safe. And that's exactly what they do. But for a while, for a while, she hung out on the tops of the trees with the birds, maybe telling stories about what she saw in space. She saw the stars. She said, "Ah,、oh, I saw the stars." And the moon smiled at me. And I was so high up, I could see the whole town. Yeah, she was telling the birds, and the birds were like, "Yeah, yeah." Georgiana eventually made it down to the the bottom, and uh, uh, yeah, made it down, and uh, yeah, that's the end of the story. The little girl found her, and said, "Wow, what stories you probably have to tell, but you know what, you." Don't know what those stories are that the little girl is going to share with the other dolls now that now that her doll Georgiana is an astronaut, a space doll. You don't know that because you are you are falling asleep. That's right, that's right. And all this talk about space. And the moon, and girls with brown yarn for hair, mean that you are falling asleep. And hopefully, your brothers and your sisters and your parents too are falling asleep. And that's the end of my story. But you know, if you want to know more stories. From the same doll, there was a person named named Johnny Gruel, and he wrote and he he drew pictures about a doll just like Georgiana, called Raggedy Ann, and he wrote a lot of stories about Raggedy Ann, the doll. Who went on many adventures, so many adventures that he put all the adventures in a book called Raggedy Ann Stories. So, if you want to know more about what happens to dolls who are very adventurous, you should have your mom or your dad read you some stories from the Raggedy Ann Stories. So. 
thank you for listening. Hopefully, you're asleep. And if you aren't, good night. Good night. Thank you.